What's up everybody, I'm Bush Jesus, and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanics Basics video. So in this one, we are going to be making an automated farm. And when I say automated, I mean it plants, it waters, it fertilizes, and it collects all on its own. All you need to do is supply it with the fertilizer, the seeds, and the water, and you're good to go. So, the components we're going to need for this video are on the side of the screen now. You're going to need 9 soil. 205 blocks of your choice, so stone, wood, whatever you want. You're going to need one logic gate, one sensor, two timers, a controller. All of those can be level one. They don't need to be any higher. You'll need a bearing, three vacuum pumps, a water cannon, three large chests, and a water container. So, let's get into it. So first you're going to take your soil. You're going to start placing it down, and you're going to want to leave one space in between each piece of soil. And we're just going to make a square. Alright. Just like so. Now, you're going to take your block, and you're going to fill this area as well as all these little sub-sections. So this automated farm is excellent for, for beginners. One, it doesn't take a lot of resources to make, and two, it only plants eight, so that means you're not gonna get raided. All right, so once you have this, we're gonna go ahead and make an outline. All the way around. Just like that. So this is what we have. And then we're going to go up another level. But we're going to leave a one gap in the middle. And the reasoning for this gap will become obvious later on. But in short, we're going to be using a sensor to run this whole thing. And we need this gap here so that the sensor doesn't detect the, the wall. All right, just like that. Now, because these corners are further from the center than the sides are, we're going to need to place a block. Two blocks in each corner, just like this. Awesome. So this is what we have so far. It's looking good. Now we're going to take that one bearing. I'm going to put it down right in the center. This is what's going to rotate our entire farm to allow it to do its thing. So we're then going to attach a block to the bearing and attach it. You can do it at three or you can do it at one. But then you want to make sure that when you attach the other blocks, you attach it directly to the blocks that are connected to the bearing and don't connect it to the floor because then it won't spin. So you're going to want to make a plus like this. Okay. And then we're going to go up three on all sides. like this and then we're gonna want to go like that on all the sides but you can pick whatever side you want I'm gonna use this side in the example you're gonna want to place a second one there just like that okay so now let's start with our components so let's get the logic gate and we're going to place it down, just like that. We're going to place the sensor right below it, like that. So you can see this is why we have the gap here, so it doesn't detect the wall. So just like that. And then we're going to go put a timer in these two slots. And the controller in this slot, just like that. Simple enough, and that's all like the complex components that we need. 
now we're gonna attach the controller to the bearing okay we're gonna go into the controller make sure you turn on loop just like that so you want it to be yellow lit up and then you go over to your first section which is the bearing and you're gonna want to turn this to plus 45 all right perfect now we're gonna want to move over to the timer and this one we're gonna put to 20 seconds okay so we're gonna put that one to 20 seconds i'm gonna come over here to this one i'm gonna put this one to 10 seconds all right so it's 400 ticks and this one is 800 ticks so if you just use the sensor as the front then the timer on the right will be 10 seconds the timer on the back will be 20 seconds okay now we can go ahead and build up another three just like this and boom that is all of our blocks Perfect. So now you can go ahead and take out the vacuum pumps as well as the water cannon. We'll get that switch ready for later on. So you're going to want vacuum pump there. Vacuum pump there. vacuum pump there oh apologies this one is actually the water cannon so you want the the water cannon over top of the timer that has the uh the 10 seconds and then the timer with 20 seconds you want the vacuum pump and then the controller you want the vacuum pump as well as the, the sensor you want a vacuum pump so just like this okay now we're going to go ahead and grab the water container okay and you want to place it. It doesn't matter how you place it because that's just tethered together. So you can just place it however you want on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up all three of these chests. And I find it easiest to hop up on top. And then, again, you can place it however as long as it's connected. I like to place it like this. All right, so as you can see, that part is facing down, down, down. Now, what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna go ahead and tether the sensor to the block, to the logic gate. We're going to tether the logic gate to the pump as well as both timers. Okay. And you want to make sure your sensor is on 4. So again, you only need a level 1 sensor and put the range to 4. Okay. So you want it just like that. And then we're going to attach this to this. Attach a water cannon the reservoir so we can get its water go around back attach this timer to this pump all right looking good and go ahead and attach this button here or this switch rather and attach this to 
the controller as well as to the pump. So this pump is going to stay on at all times. This is the one that collects the the vegetables once it's done um, growing. So that's just always on sucking it, but it can only suck plants that are actually fully grown. So you don't have to worry about anything else. So let's just double check, make sure it's all connected properly. So we want the switch to controller and switch to pump or yeah, yeah, pump. And then we want sensor at four and we want it to connect to, to, uh, the logic gate and the logic gate you want it to be on nor inverted so just like this all right so now you see those are going to start charging up just like so you can see i got in the got in the way of the sensor a little so we did a little splash um and now so again, make sure water is connected. You probably want to connect the water last just so you don't get that splash, but it doesn't really matter at all. I want to make sure that timer is connected to that pump, which is connected to that chest. You want that. Okay, so we are set. Now, all that's left to do is to go ahead and put our vegetables in here or whatever plant we're growing that's water and then fertilizer in here excellent now you can see we turn it on it's going to start rotating sensor is going to detect that wall there going to plant one going to plant one there that timer builds up and splash waters that one. Timer builds up again. Waters the next one. This timer builds up. Oh, sorry. That is supposed to be pointing down. That is my bad. So that pump goes downwards and fertilizes. Just like so. And as you can see, we'll come around. All three of them are doing their job at the same time. And I'm starving. So yeah. You want that pump down. You want that pump down. And then this pump right here, you actually want to go up because that's what's going to suck up the vegetables when it's done. So that's the one with the controller you want to go up. The other two pumps you want to go down. All right. Now, I am going to speed this up a little so you can see it uh, in action once, once the plants are grown and uh, it starts collecting them and then replanting them. So you can see here some of the tomatoes are finishing and the pump is sucking them up and then they are being replanted so let's go take a look over here boom up up and up now everything is being replanted re-watered and re-fertilized and it continues so as long as you have seeds and fertilizer inside of it then you're good you have a automated supply of food well that's gonna do it for this one thank you all so much for checking it out uh, if you're interested check out some of the other scrap mechanic basics videos that i have i have a playlist made and i will see you all in the next one later